Hey guys, um, welcome to the garden. This week's garden tour is gonna be a little different. As you can see behind me, um, this is a lot of empty dirt. And back there are my raised beds. So just to give you a little idea of where I'm standing. Last week, we were having problems with our sewer and we ended up having to have our sewer line from our house replaced. Basically, it ran right through the middle of the garden. And so that means that an excavator was here and um, they had to dig directly through at an angle the middle of my garden. And so, I have had a very bad week. As I'm guessing you can, uh, you could gather. <laughs> um, so, when I uploaded the worm bin video, the night I shot that video was the day after this happened. But the worms came and I could not leave them in their bag, so I put myself back together and shot that worm bin video. So I had not shot a garden tour. And that is because I had to spend um, the nights I usually would shoot my garden tour moving plants. So everything that was on these two cattle panel pieces, the cherry tomatoes, I had to move over there. I also moved my peppers. Um, and ended up moving my sweet potato bed because we thought that the line went straight back to the back of the yard. And then we found out Tuesday when they were here that it went at an angle. So I moved sweet potatoes back and I had to move a couple other tomato plants. So basically, um, I lost a lot of stuff. I lost my ground cherries. I lost all of my pole beans that I had planted on the arch that I actually don't have back up yet. Um, I've lost at least one of my four eggplants. Um, I did move those, but because we had to move them and it was so hot and it hadn't rained here in weeks, um, I am losing some stuff. My peppers don't look great. It did just rain here today, um, like three hours ago. It rained, we got an inch of rain. So they are looking a little better, some of them, but um, I still don't know if they're gonna make it. My sweet potatoes have perked back up a little, but I've they've been eaten by bunnies. So again, I don't know if those are gonna make it. Luckily, all the cherry tomatoes are fine. We moved them and they seem to have adjusted. Um, we did cut off all the blossoms and all of the green fruit. Um, but I did cut them off and take them in the house and I actually have had a couple sun golds ripen which have been just, just a blessing. So I think the plants will be okay. Um, I think they will continue to produce blossoms and fruit, but I did cut those off so they could focus on getting their roots reestablished. So I am going to take you around and show you what it looks like now. I also brought out some seeds because we have to replant our squash that we planted. Um, because, you know they dug right through where I put those. So we're gonna replant those in a different spot. Um, I'll take you around and show you what everything looks like. Luckily I did, I, I have been planning ahead on videos and I did have a couple to upload for last week. Um, but yeah, it's been very hard this week. Um, I put so much work into this space and to see it 
half dug up in a matter of like a couple hours was pretty devastating to say the least. Um, so I'm gonna take you through here and kind of show you what, where everything is and my plan going forward because I do have one. I just haven't had the gumption to um, really start on it yet. So hopefully this week I'll get some stuff planted again. So from where I was standing, this is where I had cherry tomatoes. There are still some bush beans in here that are fine. Um, that's the main gate. This is all just raw dirt now. Um, and then it goes all the way back next to the greenhouse. So this is still kind of a mound, but it's not too bad. This over here, all of this area is pretty flat, but it's very soft. So it did just rain. So I'm out here in my muck boots because I will sink a little. So I am going to put this cattle panel arch back. I just, it hasn't, I haven't done it yet. And I will be re-sowing beans, my pole beans on that. Um, this area that's over here, I have my raised beds moved back. Um, there is still landscape fabric down. And at this point I can pull all of this up and plant my clover. But here where I had all my peppers, I'm gonna use this area to do some squash. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna sow our zucchini and our yellow squash again in this area. This is where the peppers, eggplants, and ground cherries were uh, next to the gate. Now if I turn around, and hopefully I don't fall. This arch, somehow they didn't, he didn't hit it, um, and I didn't have to move it. The rosemary and sage that are right here are totally fine. The cucumbers look really good actually, and I have one down here that is gonna be picked in just a couple days. There was another one on here too. Let me see if I can find it. This is the salt and pepper variety, which is actually a new variety for me this year. Yeah, there's another one down in there too so that's exciting um i haven't noticed any other plants with fruit on them i'm gonna train this guy to go up not sideways we did get a pretty heavy rainstorm here earlier which we desperately needed but plants took a little bit of a beating so train him up um, these over here also look really good the plants are looking really nice and healthy there is one coming in down there it looks like I don't know yeah so these plants look pretty good um, I was very happy that these could stay because they are you know they look really nice right now so I'm really happy with those the cucumelons over here also look great. They are taking over their little string trellis home um, and they're coming out onto the ground. So I need to train them to go up. Um, but yeah, they are just vining all over the place. It's covered in little female blossoms. So hopefully pretty soon I will be picking some cucumelons. Um, over here in the tomatoes, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about when I say I moved all of them. So these two right here came from over there. Um, and so did that one right there. And they all look okay. This is a firebird. It has some like crunchy leaves on the top, but I think I may just leave it and kind of let a sucker become the new top here. Um, everything down here, none of this stuff was touched. And I did finally get everything pruned. Um, everything is looking really nice. Everything has fruit on it, which is very exciting. And we're getting to the point where there's going to be a lot of food coming in pretty soon, hopefully. Um, the kale and chard back here looks pretty good also. It is starting to be overrun by 
this, but that's okay. Um, now over here, I'm gonna walk through here because this is where the tomato fun starts. This is a cherry tomato. Um, I think this might be the blueberries cherry. I did keep the labels, yes, blueberries. Oh, this zinnia is about to open too. So this is the blueberries cherry. Um, I have stuff just kind of shoved wherever there was room. Uh, the three on the A-frame looking really nice also. I have two more cherry tomatoes over here. I'm actually gonna try and train them to go up this cattle panel if I can. Uh, this is Isis Candy and Aunt Ruby's Yellow Cherry. And then I have another one here. This one is, what are you, Sun Gold. That was my first tomato of the year was a Sun Gold and man, it was delicious. Um, this one right here, I don't have staked. This is the blonde girl. I need to get some support on that one. And then we have the Salisaw Cafe here. And then this one is black cherry and that one is also a black cherry. So they're all kind of just shoved over here. Um, these beans on this arch are climbing a little. I am having, you'll see what problem I'm having. I'm having a Japanese beetle problem. Um, this zinnia has been decimated and a lot of my basil over here is the same way. So yeah, like look at all those. So I need to do something about that. Um, I was going to spray some neem or sprinkle some DE, some diatomaceous earth, but it, I knew it was supposed to rain today, so I didn't. When it comes to these Japanese beetles, I am probably gonna spray some neem and just pick them off and throw them in a cup of soapy water. That's usually the best bet. Um, unfortunately, you have to pick them off by hand, but it does work the best and it kills them. So they're big enough that you can see them, but man, they're just a pain in the butt. So anyway, back over here by this panel, um, this Mexican red torch sunflower is starting to put some height on it and it's starting to get its little flower buds. And I just noticed that sunflowers are starting to open. I think this is the solar flare. I think that's what this is. Um, and they will be yellow but then they'll also have like this one has like the little bit of red in the middle i love these and i just noticed that the sunflower has no head so that's what in the world this had a head yesterday what in the world happened to this why why okay well anyway Oh, I see it. It's right there. Yeah, it had opened. It opened yesterday, and now it's laying over here on this pile of dirt. <sighs> okay, anyway, that was one of the Velvet Queen, maybe. Luckily, it's a multiflora, so it'll send out other flowers, but still. Dang. Uh, this zinnia, I'm going to try to walk over this and not sink um this zinnia over here by the greenhouse has opened it's this one's done but it's starting to send out a ton more flowers and this one <laughs> my mom dug this up and i wasn't gonna save it but she didn't want me to lose it and it is like the prettiest like pale pink and it's totally fine um it's in all this dirt so it may actually just root right here where these poppies are and honestly that would be fine because these are almost done for the year um the raised beds look pretty good um carrots back here looking great the shallots are ready to harvest whenever i want them the onions are pretty much ready to go also uh there's a few that are still standing up but most of them have flopped over that's when you know they're ready is when the necks have kind of flopped. Um, 
So for now, I'm gonna leave these in here. Um, I will come out and cut off the tops while they're still green so I can make some more pesto to freeze. And then once I figure out where I'm going to cure these, I will pull them. Uh, the potatoes, I actually pulled up some potatoes last night and made them with dinner and they were delicious. I only pulled up like these plants right here. So I still have all of this left that I need to dig. Um, I am going to let these plants continue to go and actually die back before I dig those up. But I was feeling like I wanted some fresh garden dinner. So that's what I did. And here are my sweet potatoes. Now, they do look better than they have. Um, they are perked back up a little. But you will can see that they're missing a lot of leaves. And that is because the bunnies. Um, the bunnies have been in here just having a heyday because I didn't have a fence for like four days. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens with this, I guess. Um, I'm just going to leave it. I did root some other slips I had in the house. So, if I need to, I can always put those in here as well. Now let's go back over here. Um, these vining things, the watermelon, this is starting to send out its first little vine, so that's exciting. Um, the squash and the cantaloupes are looking pretty good. Honestly, I didn't lose any of those. Uh, the peppers, now to be honest, this is the best these have looked since I moved them Monday evening, and today is Sunday. So it's been almost a week and they look better than they have since I moved them. Now, I think it's because it just rained. Um, I have been watering them, but, you know, rainwater is their favorite. So, I'm glad that these look like this. Maybe I won't lose all of them. This one did get snapped. Um, so, cross your fingers for me and hopefully I don't lose all of these. We'll see how they do over the next week. But you can see, oh, I just stepped on one. Okay, well, love that for me. Um, this is the honey nut squash, and this is where they went. So luckily, this did not get hit. I said there's a plant there, but if you have to run over it, then run over it. But I think he knew this tea post was here, and that helped him. So luckily, um, the people that came to do this were friends of my dad and so um very nice people and were very understanding of like how hard this was for me they also helped me move stuff um when we had to kind of change the course in the middle so that was also very nice and i was very appreciative of that and they did a great job putting all the dirt back and getting it mostly flat where they could so you know, the good thing is I have less grass to deal with. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, so there's your garden tour for this week. Um, now let's go plant some seeds again. Okay, so again, have my dauber, love this thing. I'm just gonna do, oh, there's a plant marker sticking up. I'm gonna do, I don't know three of each i could do i have my zucchini and my yellow squash so i'm just going to do like three holes for each kind and luckily for me it did just rain so i don't have to water these in So there's our squash planted. Hopefully this time I won't have to dig it back up <laughs> and we'll actually get some plants. Um, I think we will. <sighs> and then hopefully this week I can get the cattle panel put back up, maybe tomorrow evening. And get some more beans and stuff planted. So over on the panels where the cherry tomatoes were, um, I'm not gonna be moving those back because I don't think they'll be able to take another move. 
but what I am gonna do is I put them back just like they were about 18 inches off the ground and I'm going to plant some pole beans and some cucumbers so I don't know we'll see how that goes um, I've never done pole beans or cucumbers on anything but an arch so I know they'll reach the top but then I think they'll probably just snake across I don't know we'll find out um, I luckily I do still have plenty of time I I have my estimated last fro or first frost day is mid October so it's the end of June I still have like a hundred days of my growing season left so that's a good thing um, I'm trying to find the good <laughs> in all of this I'm gonna hopefully be able to get way more food out of here because I have all my tomatoes smashed in one area so that means I have more room over here to plant stuff um, and you know it's not ideal but we're gonna make it work and we're still going to be growing our own food and putting it up for the off season so Man, I can't believe I lost that sunflower head that makes me so mad I bet it was a blue jay we have the worst two blue jays here and they will just terror I, wa I watched them I watched one of them uh, cut one of my sunflowers off at the base when they were still small so man i am gonna plant some more sunflowers um because mine are not super tall and i don't really know why so i'm gonna plant some more just from seed and kind of see how big they get so anyway um yeah that's it for this week's garden tour i don't even know what week it is four three i don't know i don't know whatever it says in the thumbnail is <laughs> what it is so <sighs> thanks for watching um this week will be a lot of planting videos because i have to do a lot more of that so thank you so much for watching i appreciate you so much and i will see you in the next one